Today, I'm going to be doing a lightning This is like my slightly glam makeup now. If you can see, I'm also a bit like a bit weird because some people are going to think I, I am just like a weird one with softbox, but it's just me now. And I think I might need to buy a new one. And the one I bought is a bit crazy, so that's perfect. I am drinking water by the way, so if you see me going a lot, it's because I'm drinking water. Because you haven't really seen the water before, right? And it's because it's really this song for you. But I don't want to be unplugging this anytime soon, so it's fine. Right, anyway. This is my glam ish makeup look. This might be somebody else's natural makeup. I don't know, but. Anyhow. First, I'm going to use the Avon True Neutra Effects Brightening Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 20 in. I'm kind. Of, I'm almost using this as a primer, but not quite. I am going to put it in the camera because I don't want to have like the red sticky bits of hair everywhere. So I've just rubbed it in with my hands and then. This really makes my skin feel super hydrated and glowy. So, yep. Yeah. Okay. Guys, I do always have to have this in a makeup, in a makeup bottle, in a bubble, when I do my makeup. Because I find that if you have your hair down, then it's just hard just to get in like every spot of your face, and you just kind of get where the hair doesn't get, if that makes sense. Then I'm going to let that dry a bit. So, following it's about to dry, I'm going to do my eye shadow. First, first I'm going to put a tiny, tiny bit of the collection. Let's do the collection concealer, just on my eyes. Put it about this way. And this way. Well, no, I actually did two, two swipes on this side because I did this. I thought I'd done one swipe on this side and then I just went down this and then I had two swipes on this side. And guys, the only reason why I'm doing this is for the right real eyeshadow primer is because I don't find the eyeshadow primer really makes a difference because. Yeah. Also, guys, I do this on every single day of this look. And I've never used this eyeshadow palette before, I've only swatched it a few times. So, this is the first time using it. And I'm a bit worried because this palette is like a drug store palette. I'm not even sure. I don't even know how much I've paid for this. So, also, guys, it's the Makeup Revolution London Icon Mystery One palette. And I'm going to give it a fair shot. So, if it doesn't work one time, then I'll probably use it again. And it is much better next time. So, anyway. This bubbles. Lightly, I have all primed. I'm just going to set that with a tiny bit of powder. I'll put my little massive makeup box. Is it makeup box? Makeup tiny box? Like hamper almost. And we're just going to use this like, kind of flat shader brush. Yeah, guys, can you see that? Yeah. And I'm just going to pat this on. It's translucent, so it isn't going to do any difference. Well, no. I think this one's translucent. It's as translucent on me, so this isn't going to do much of a difference to my eye, and I do this all the time, so still giving it a fair shot. Ah, ah, it's in my eye, it's in my eye, it's in my eye. I'll probably be very focused on the eye look, and then I'll just quickly do the face. So this is, guys, most of the things on my channel are going to be two-parters, just remember that. But, hey ho. Means the two parts. Right. First, I'm just gonna take. Ah, guys, I've lost that. I've lost that. Quick, quick, quick. This one. Right. This is a makeup. Primer. This is actually the brush that came in here because it's like right there. Can you see? I don't know, but anyway. I'm going to take this brush and I'm just going to take this side and really lightly do a little crease of it. And, oh, I don't know which one to use. I have two eyeshadow palettes, as you can see. I might use this limited edition. I've got 
Yeah, I'm gonna use this limited collection passable pop above limited pop I can explain. Yay! Right guys, I've never used this before so I'm not really sure how pigmented they are. And I'm using a slightly shimmery colour for the crease, but that's just how light's gonna be. So I'm just gonna take this like kind of goldish colour down here. I'm gonna tap it off because it oh like me. It's very powdery. Powdery look really guys, are you seeing that like pigmented? Guys, I'm like tapping it off so much that nothing's on the brush and it's still coming through like super pigmented. Kind of scared now because I don't want all of them to be. Do you know when the eyeshadow palette's like so pigmented that it kind of like makes you look like two? Actually, the palettes can sometimes be so pigmented that it's too pigmented. So I'm just going to blend this out quite a bit and leave it because I don't want to ruin my eyeshadow look completely. So just while that kind of so like while I blend this bit. There guys, I'm going to leave the eyeshadow there because I want to make a super full video of it. So, this can be three-parter, hopefully. Um, oh, what am I going to do next one? I'm going to do next one. I'm going to do next. I'll do foundation next. So, for foundation, I am going to be using the Miss Sporty Really Me Second Skin Effect Foundation in Really Ivory. Guys, I only have a tiny bit left, so I'm going to buy a new one of these on Monday. Oh, be prepared for a haul coming soon as well of Smiggle and Super Dead. So I'm just going to kind of base this on my cheeks mainly, because that's where I'll have the most redness. I'm just going to do like a tiny stripe down my nose, a bit on top of my cupid's bow, a bit on my chin. One, two, three. Uh, oh god, where are I? And then I'm just going to kind of do like a square and two lines on my head, because I don't want it to look super cakey. Right, I'm going to blend it out with like a big artiste toothbrush type of thing and it hopefully blends quite well. Well, I mean, I know it blends quite well, but that's just with a small artiste brush. I'm not sure how good it blends with a big artiste brush. Guys, okay, so these are my which is kind of like glam for me because I don't normally wear foundation. But the reason why I've used that one so much is because I've been going out quite a few meals and stuff so it was actually good for things like that yeah guys it's just gave me like a bit of coverage so i'm gonna do a second layer where i need it so basically i'm just gonna pop it on my cheeks a bit more and maybe a tiny bit around my nose no i'm just gonna go mainly around my cheek area and a tiny dot on my forehead my problem area is my forehead, so I don't want to put too much on there. So I'm just going to really quickly blend it because it is an amazing foundation, but it dries really quickly. If any of you guys have this foundation, then comment down below how you guys feel about it because I want to know quite a bit. Because I'd always like to know who has what opinion, I guess. This cheek just really has redness issues <sighs> there right guys if this oh, hey. oh my God, that's fine. if this doesn't work then i'm just gonna leave it because my cheek's really red and i don't want to have super red because it's red cheek there guys that's good so i'm gonna get it um next i'm gonna do concealer and i'm just gonna carve out my brows because i don't like putting them in my brows much truthfully and again, I'm just going to use the same one as I used. <laughs> Guys, I have a thing with concealer where if I get it on my bed, then I'm really, like, irritated. So I'm just going to use the same one as I packed on the lid, I guess. So I'm just going to kind of get... It seems to be, like, loads at the base of it and none at the tip, if that makes sense. 
I'm so confused right now. And I'm just trying. I am looking down at the mirror because I don't want to look at the camera because the camera is slightly glitching at the moment. There's quite a bit of liquid in it, so I'm just kind of like almost jabbing it in, but not. Like that is up. I don't want to make my eyebrows look super bold because that isn't the main part of it. The main part of it's my eyes, so. Hmm. Main part of it is the eyebrows, not the. I don't really know. Not the. Not the. Not the. Not the. Not the eyebrows. Eyeballs and not eyebrows because. I'm not good at eyeballs very much, so yeah, that's that's as good as I'm gonna get it. Then oh, just kind of swore, but it didn't. I'm just gonna blend it out with. Oh, I don't know what I'm I'll use this one. This is like I feel like I've might have used this for highlight once before, so I'm just gonna kind of slightly blend it, but not too much. Just want my nose to look super. Natural. Just give them almost a matte highlight because I don't want them to be shimmered. Then I just kind of almost brush them through with this brush just to try and blend the top and the bottom at the same time. And that's my eyebrows. Oh, guys, I haven't done powder yet. No, I haven't done powder yet. That's good. Right. Next up, oh my goodness, I am going to use cream highlighter. So for cream highlighter, I'm using the Tanya. Well, I was going to, but apparently I can't anymore because I can't open it. Tiny bit highlighter in it's like forever summer, that's the one. And I'm just gonna really lightly kind of put this on the cheek area. Just kind of gonna go up there. That's all I'm gonna do. My face might look quite pink at the moment, but that's just life, isn't it? Plus my bedroom is like a sauna at the moment. So, woohoo, so nice. I'm just going to take this like smallish over brush and I'm just going to blend it. Obviously I am going to powder and pour a normal powder highlighter over this top, but I just wanted to do it as a bit of a pretty effect. Because it just like it really makes it pop if you put powder highlighter over the top of it. Oh, it just looks so pretty. So for powder highlighter, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Pro Illuminate Highlighter. There it is. And, oh, it's really going to take. I'll take this one. Kind of an eyeshadow. Yeah, I would say it's this an eyeshadow brush, but still, who cares? And guys, it's like a dark gold almost, but it looks so good on pale people i know that i sound really bad for darker people but i just think it looks really nice on lighter skinned people because it just kind of gives them a bit more glow whereas i feel like i don't know i just think it looks nice it might be dark but i think it still looks nice on light people i mean it might look absolutely beautiful on dark people as well but i think it looks nice on light people on dark people but I've never saw it like super close up on darker people. But I think that looks quite nice. But I do definitely need to powder because my face is like an oil spoon. Right, guys, I'm gonna slide you into the next video. So make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next part two of this video. Bye bye.